Hello, my dear friends. Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my channel, and I'm so happy you decided to stop by. Today, I would be sharing with you how to paint sun-kissed roses in one-stroke deco art style. The materials needed for today's project are all listed over here. So, let's get started. I begin with a watercolor paper which is orange in color and the size is 3.2 inches by 5.5 inches. I have dropped some orange watercolor and stenciled it for an interesting background. So here is the palette for the sun-kissed roses. I have permanent orange, cadmium orange, permanent rose, deep magenta and white acrylic and I'm using a flat brush number 6 to load it with permanent rose, permanent orange and white acrylic. So this is multi-loading of the brush and I'm blending the colors very well. Now before I go on to paint the roses, I have picked up my flat brush number 4. I have permanent orange and a bit of deep magenta on it and I'm trying to create a very loose form of the rose. So here is the first rose in the making. I'm using my flat brush number 6 which is loaded with permanent rose, permanent orange and I will be adding white as and when needed. You will see in a bit. But right now it is only two colors. There you go. Do you see the white? So here is a combination of permanent rose, permanent orange and white. As I move to the outer petals of the rose, I will be adding more of white to create some highlights. I would like to share with you something very insightful today. Um, whenever I wake up in the morning and the light streams through the window, I open my eyes to a beautiful golden glow which is granted to us by the mighty sun. Because of this light, the nature and all objects around us, including ourselves, we are energized and illuminated in all our glory. But as the evening sets in and the surroundings become darker, the objects appear in a different light. And when it is completely dark, the objects run out of color. Have you wondered why? The golden glow of the sun is a spectrum of seven colors and when this spectrum falls on any object, the constitution of the object absorbs certain colors and reflects some. And when this phenomena falls on our retinas, then we conceive the object in a particular way. For example, a red rose reflects the red color in the morning and the daytime. Similarly, an orange rose reflects the orange color, although it absorbs all the rest of the colors. You might have also noticed that a red rose will appear different at different times of the day. Isn't that incredible? And all of this is because of the mighty sun. The fact is that the sun is a life-giving star 
without which the earth will plunge into darkness and extreme cold and without it no life can ever survive the mighty sun symbolizes happiness strength and vitality even at 93 million miles away it warms illuminates and energizes us making us feel our best and our brightest in vedic scriptures the mighty sun is revered and is perceived as the most believable and visible manifestation of the creator of the universe there is a beautiful mantra that is a verse which is sung in praise of the almighty sun it is called the gayatri mantra om bhur bhuva swaha tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yona prachodayat which means the eternal earth air and heavens that glory the resplendence of the mighty sun may we contemplate the brilliance of that light may the sun inspire our minds so amazing it is it is said that the sun gives but never receives but this beautiful mantra is a gift back to the mighty sun an offering of gratitude to reflect the sun's gracious offering the sun offers its gift of illumination and energy to all beings without judgment and without attachment to the outcome of the gift i hope we can all follow the sun and imbibe its sterling qualities be selfless in our actions and helpful towards our fellow men today's sun kiss roses which i'm trying to create they are my humble offering to surya devata or the sun god as a token of gratitude thank you so much for lighting up the world and our lives the roses are done so let's move on to the foliage so here is the palette bamboo green deep green olive green and white acrylic and i have a flat brush number 6 which i'm loading with all the four colors this is multi loading of the brush after loading i'm supposed to blend the colors very well now before i go on to make the leaves i've picked up a liner brush with deep green and a bit of magenta on it and i'm just painting around the edges of the roses once done i move on to the stems the stems are created with deep green and bamboo which you will see in a bit this style of painting is called one stroke deco art style and this is an amazing way of creating beautiful florals and leaves and this is a very relaxing and easy method although initially it might look like it is difficult but it is not so everything becomes easy with practice so if you would like to 
find out more about this particular style of painting or you would like to refresh your floral and leaf skills then I would encourage you to please visit my past videos. I will be dropping some of the links in the description box below. So here I've picked up my flat brush number four and a bit of olive and lot of white to create some background slider leaves. And here come the large one stroke deco art style of leaves. At this point I have a flat brush number six and it is loaded with all the four colors if you remember which I did in the beginning of loading the brush with the greens. Now I can increase or decrease the proportion of the greens to create variations in the colors of the leaves. More of bamboo and white will create lighter leaves and more of deep green and olive will create darker leaves. Do you like what you see? Please let me know in the comment box below. I would be very happy to know your thoughts about this painting. Now I'll be adding two more strips of orange next to this painted panel when I am ready to assemble this on a black note card which you will see in a moment and I would be adding a couple more leaves and a bud. At this point I am still creating the little leaves around the floral arrangement. Now here you see these are very light leaves which are more of white and very less of olive and some dark greens over them to create some dramatic effect. Well it's time for the flower centers. I have used golden yellow and a bit of olive green to create the little dots and at this point I have picked up a liner brush with olive green on it and I'm creating some vines and the veins. Here you can see I've added a bit of white to olive green as well. So once the panel is ready, I gather all the elements and assemble the card. I created a couple more leaves and a little bud. And that's a wrap on today's project. Hope you enjoyed watching me paint the sun-kissed roses in one stroke deco art style. As always, thank you so much for being with me till the end. Please connect with me on my social media handles and it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you. We'll be back very soon with more interesting videos. Till then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.